This is so weird. There's like a desert snow jungle. They need to work on their their biomes. Hello. I'm back. Yay! There is this, there's like this lady who knocks on my door every Saturday and asks me if I want to buy tamales. <laughs> uh, no. Why they are you knocking on my door? I get that here, but I've never seen that anywhere else. It's the first time I've ever seen it. It's like last weekend was the first time she dropped by it. It's it's some sweet little old Mexican lady. I like and tamales. she I don't know where she lives, but this is the second week in a row she's come and knocked on my door and asked me if I wanted to buy tamales. That is so weird. Uh, no, that's really common here. Well, the people really? watching don't know, but I live on the Mexican border in Texas, on El Paso. And uh, most of the population here is Mexican. And, uh, like, if you go to restaurants, like, I've had them, it happen at, like, Pizza Hut and McDonald's. You go and you sit down to eat, and somebody will come in trying to sell you tamales or something. While you're Mexican eating McDonald's? People. While you're eating. I think it's so rude that they do that. And I can't believe the establishments let them do it, but they do. Well, people will just come by to your table and say, hey, do you want to buy some of this? And it's like, uh, no, I want to eat my pizza. Strange <laughs> that they would let them come in and sell their they food. They do it in doctor's offices, too. I've been at the doctor's office and had uh, them come in trying to sell stuff. That's that's weird. That's... I, I, I don't know if it's just part of their culture where they do that so much in Mexico that they come up here and they do it. They too. do. They have a lot of street vendors in Mexico. Yeah, but I've, I've never seen that happen before. I don't know where you are, but I stopped because there was a big vein of coal and iron here. Yeah, I pointed it out to you. I'm just walking up the desert here to see if I can get to a high point so I can okay, see what's just, around. Don't lose me. There's... I have the worst sense of direction. Swamp, there's snow, and there's this weird little desert that we're in, which is kind of randomly placed in the middle of snow. But there's no oh, villages or anything that I can see from here. I know, I was standing on top of that mountain while you were gone, like, looking for oh. uh, dungeons. I'm going this way because I see a hole in the sand. See, that's what I always do. I look for, like, square holes with maybe just a block or two popped up, and that usually means there's chests or spawners, and it's a dungeon. Yeah, there's a couple of holes here. Okay, one has water in it. Let me check the other one. Uh, no, that one's just a hole. Okay. Yeah, I always check. Look, there's some big mountains over here. I'm going to go stand on one. Uh, the snowy ones or the sandy ones? These ones over here behind us. The sandy ones. one. I want to see if I can get a better aerial view of where we're at. Yeah, but it kind of weirded me out that that lady drops by. This is like the second weekend she's that done it. That is a little weird. And for those that don't know, I live in Oregon, like south of Washington and the Canadian border. We have like practically no, you know, not a big population. Mexican population. <laughs> yeah, there's like a handful of, of Mexican people in this town. And it's that is really weird. You could tell she must be really from Mexico and not like native to here. Right, because the native. Because that's a very Mexican thing yeah. to do. Exactly. Not that I want to say anything bad about Mexicans, but that is just it's like something Mex they do. I like Mexican people. We had Mexican neighbors when we were kids. I remember. I wish I had gotten to know them a little bit more and learned Spanish. Gosh, I need to learn Spanish. I have Rosetta Stone. Maybe I should start learning Spanish. You should. You live in an area that because uses Spanish. Everybody <laughs> here speaks Spanish. Like, sometimes uh, there's this little place we go to for burritos really awesome burritos the best burritos of the world they make these giant burritos that are like a foot long yeah they can cook and they're really like six well. inches thick they're gigantic yeah oh god that makes me so hungry right <laughs> now. oh they're so delicious if if you ever come visit me again uh I, i'm looking to make sure that we get to go there because their burritos are so good but it's like this little this little mexican shop and uh what they do is at the beginning of the day, they make a certain amount of burritos, and when they sell out, that's when they close store for the day. That's not something Americans usually do, but that's something they do. Yeah, that's Mexico. also a very Mexican thing, right? And uh, the people who work there, they'll speak a word of English. <laughs> that's surprising. So when you order burritos, you have to know a little bit of Spanish, and there's a lot of places like that here where you yeah, have to know got, Spanish. Like, one place here in town that does really good on enchiladas and that sort of thing and, and they're very authentic oh, like that where you know they only speak 
Spanish and all that. Yeah, oh, there's I'm, oh ah, come on, there's diamond down there. What? At least three blocks of it. Oh, you have a world chunker. I do. It. Oh, and I can't jump, and I've fallen in. Uh... I've fallen in the hole, and I can't get out. Oh. Uh... And have flying on. You, you're standing on ice, just so you know. I, I'm falling on my screen. Yeah, you're you're standing on ice in my screen. <laughs> Am I moving at all when I hit my mouse button? No, you're just looking down at the floor below. You're probably gonna disconnect here in a minute. I probably will. Oh God, there's diamonds and gold, but the diamonds are more interesting. <gasps> oh, there's a lot of diamonds down there. What? Holy crap! What? There's like we... two blocks right be below the water here, and then like you go. Oh, I had a world maybe, checker for a minute. Maybe thirty blocks over, like under that snowy thing right on the other side of the river, and there's like more diamonds right near bedrock. Just all oh, that pisses me off. <laughs> here, I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect because it's just okay. kind of bazzing me. Disconnect. Multiplayer. There we go. I brought the sun oh. back up. It was starting to get dark. I noticed that. Yeah. So, where, which way am I pointed? All right. I don't. Ah, uh, chunk errors. They, they're. Okay. So, right below here, there is diamond, and then right over this way near bedrock. There's diamond. <laughs> oh, is there any caves? Did you see caves? No, it was all solid the whole way. Oh, down. that's so lame. That makes it right? so Otherwise, much harder to find. Otherwise, I would just dig down. <laughs> yeah. Well, but we'll it's... find diamonds eventually. We need some because I want some for my enchanting table. Right. Ice me. I wish we could bring ice back to the village. I know. I don't know what I'd do with it, but I want some. You just want some. Make a, an igloo on the beach. <laughs> We can do that with snow. Yeah, but you have to, like, get it I don't there. have a shovel with me, but... Neither do I. We could do that with snow. I'm just exploring. I don't even know where we're going. We've gotten so much ore already. I have, let's see, a stack of 64 coal, a stack of 5, um, and 13 iron. I have a pine tree and a oak tree sapling. <laughs> Hi, doggies! I love you, doggies! Not as much as the kitties, but I love you. I love the puppies. Ever since we used to play on that multi-server, the multiplayer server, right? With uh, doggies. God, who we... do we play with? Zoo and somebody else. Um, we had the doctor, right? And I forget who else was there. We had this really cool little place. I loved there that was... village. I'm starving to death. There was what's his name that was in our village with us right toward the end there. Uh, like he was the only guy who would keep in our village after they kept changing the server. Oh, I can't remember for the life of me. We had so many awesome people there. Right. And then they destroyed our map and it just kind of... It was hard yeah, to get back together with everybody. Yeah, they destroyed the map and replaced it with a different server entirely. Uh, and then it was none of the same people. It was I all loved those cute. guys. I hope... They they somehow find our our Minecraft videos and ask to come visit us, right? I would so the let them come join us for some episodes. I would even let them join us permanently because they are just so cool. Those guys just join the server. It's so hard to find uh, really nice, friendly people you could trust on Minecraft servers. I hate to say that about our community, but there's just so many people who grief for the hell of it, right? And Your those guys were so nice and so creative. They built some really awesome stuff. Right. I miss them. Blue Bonnet likes to grief servers. Oh my god, yes. I, I'm worried about she gets older, she's going to be griefing us. Right. <laughs> you have to stop the griefing now. I tried to get another person to join us. Oh, really? I'm sure you can guess who. Yeah. Try to get him to uh, join us. You should! You, you should, should play, play Minecraft. Minecraft. It's awesome. You know what his response was? What? But it sucks. All you do is farm. No! No! I was like, no, you don't know. There's like these epic battles.
battles with monsters. You mine, and, and you build, and you fight He's things, like, and you Yeah, get that's, that's just stupid, and, and the graphics are, like, horrible, and I was like, oh. after See, a while, you don't even so care. Minecraft. I got. I thought that before I got Minecraft, but then once so did I. But then once it, you start playing, you're like, screw it. Who cares? Right. It's addictive. It's like playing with Legos as a now, kid. You now we love the squares. <laughs> but so, yeah, I was trying to tell him. You know, you could build like epic stuff, and there's like monster raids at night, and it's not all about farming. You get to explore, and it's especially fun when you play with multiple people. Right. Like, he's just not interested. And it's it's getting more better because they're they're even adding like zombie attacks in the villages and stuff now. I it's like... know. He's like, well, there's not really magic. I'm like, yes, there is. <laughs> yeah, there's have, potions we have and potions and, and enchanting now. And he's like, yeah, but you can't like throw fireballs yourself and blah 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 blah. Can't get like, odd. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where you went. For that. I lost you. I am. Uh, I passed through this itty.